the male reproductive organ. What is it? What does it do? So we're going to start with this rotating male pelvis. And then we'll highlight the testes and the scrotum. And then we'll cross-section this so that we can see the internal structures. So the male reproductive system, essential for human reproduction, produces sperm and hormones. And here you can see this gentle pulse, the pulse of life. Now let's zoom into one of the testes. So these are the coiled up structures called the seminiferous tubules. And they are the sperm factories of the body. And that happens in the epididymis. You can see it's kind of like a coiled tube. And the next structure is called the vas deferens. And you can see it's kind of this tube that goes upward. And so the sperm will travel along this tube. And this is the pathway that the sperm take to get to the, or from the testes to the urethra. And you'll notice that the path actually glows. That's because this structure, the vas deferens, is a muscle. All right, now let's go back and take a look at the accessory glands. There's three of them. One is called the prostate. You can see that fluid being released from the prostate. Another is called the seminal vesicle. You can see it kind of nestled up underneath the, the urinary bladder. And then there's also these two little pea-sized structures called the bulbarethral glands. So what these glands do, they provide fluid nutrients that protect the sperm as they make their way through the female reproductive system. And you can see all these different fluids mixing together to create semen. All right, now let's go back and take a look at the brain. Specifically, the hypothalamus, which is deep within the brain, sends signals down through the pituitary gland, which is at the base of the brain. And then the pituitary releases a hormone that goes directly to the testes and stimulates testosterone production. So these testosterone molecules are being released from the testes. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone. It's an anabolic hormone. It helps regulate the development and the function of the male reproductive system. It's also involved in the process of spermatogenesis, which is the creation of sperm. And testosterone also plays a role in regulating male sexual characteristics. So these hormones, they're like the body's chemical messengers. They travel throughout the body, throughout the bloodstream, and they send signals to different cells and organs to help regulate and coordinate bodily functions. So hopefully you learned a little bit about the male reproductive system, what it is, how it works, and some of the key components until next time.